What's up guys, welcome back to another one. Um, I'm out here this morning fishing solo. I'm still up in Minnesota, I've been guiding here just due to the corona stuff. I can't really guide in Canada, so been in Minnesota about the last uh, 10 days or so. Been having a really, really good trip, catching a bunch of fish, having a lot of fun. I got a day off. Um, so what do I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go fishing, of course. So hopefully we're gonna get ourselves a big one on camera today and show you guys a good time. Holy crap, that thing's big. Oh, All right guys, first things first, let's talk about the bait. Um, Beaver Baits, Brian makes a sweet, sweet product. This bait's got more popular over the last few years. Um, I was throwing a bucktail this morning, some blades. I moved one fish on a pull pause bait, um, but it was a lazy fall. I never actually saw it. I just saw it on the mega imaging. So then I went to another different kind of pull pause bait and that's the beaver, okay? Um, I cut the line just because it was wrapped around or it's easier. I probably need to retie anyway, all right? XL beaver, all right? Um, there's a couple of mods I do to this bait and I guess we'll talk about that after I uh, get the fish out here, but beaver baits, absolutely awesome. I've caught a bunch of fish on these in my trip up here. If you guys don't have any of these, you should really have at least one or two in your box. They're just so, so versatile. We'll go, we'll go over that. I want to get this fish out. I think it's uh, it's a good one. I think it's, I don't know. We'll see. It's good. It's good. Wow. What an incredible battle. Those head shakes next to the boat. I was honestly thinking to myself, how am I going to net this thing by myself? I'm just, I'm shaking. I'm at a loss for words. What an incredible fish. I'll show you here quick and then we're going to get her back right away. is <laughs> what a tank so cool awesome fish wow she is heavy she is heavy out here doing it solo what an amazing fish let's bump her out real quick we got 52 what a fish so incredible wow insane Thanks for saying hi. Yes. All right, guys, let's uh, let's go through some stuff real quick. Um, so first off, rod, reel, combo, right? 10 foot extra heavy Thorn Brothers Predator. I went to 10 footers this, this past year. I will never ever go back. The custom Predator stuff from Thorn is really nice. You get to customize everything about the rod. 
I run micro guides. I run a small four inch, just solid piece of cork here. Full cork all the way through the rear. This is a 19 inch rear, right? With a small flare. Okay, it's perfect for what I do. Long enough gives me a lot of leverage. A lot more leverage than other rods generally come with a lot shorter butt section. And a lot of rods don't come full cork because cork is very expensive. So this gives me the option of full cork. It's really nice on my ribs. I've got a nice flare here. It's really nice to grab onto when you're chucking a bait. It almost feels like a baseball bat in your hand. Dio Alexa HD 400, an 8.1 to 1 gear ratio, okay? Gear ratios are all laid out right here. Fast gear ratio, pull pause baits. You wanna pick up that line fast in between your pulls. Line, 100 pound Seaguar thread lock braid. For a leader, if you guys watch the channel at all, you know that I came out with my own line of leaders last year. I cut the line while this fish was in the, the net just cause she was kind of wrapped up in the line. It was just faster that way. This is my 49 strand, 130 pound leader, okay? I run, uh, I, I make a ball bearing swivel on one end and then a welded ring on the other. I attach all my baits with split rings. On the front of all my baits, doesn't matter if it's a bucktail, a beaver like this, there's a split ring. I attach all my baits with a split ring. So I'll just have a split ring pliers handy. There's a split ring on every one of my baits. When I want to change baits, grab your split ring pliers, put it on the ring, twist, you're on, okay? Strongest connection you can possibly have is a solid welded ring to a split ring. Snaps, I don't care if they're stay locks, um, you shouldn't be using anything else but stay locks if you do use snaps, but snaps or stay locks do wear out over time, okay? The, the constant bending of opening and closing that snap is just like a paper clip. The more you bend it, eventually it's gonna break. You can run snaps if you want, and I do carry snaps on all of my leaders. Um, there's a welded ring option or a stay lock option, okay? If you do run the stay locks, just buy a small little pack of extra ones, change them throughout the year, okay? It's every 40 to 50 times you open them, just change it, okay? They're like 80 cents a piece. It's super cheap insurance, right? So let's uh, get this tied on and we'll talk more about the bait. As far as for a knot, I just tie a polymer. I tie this knot for basically everything that I do, okay? You double up the line, put it through, make an overhand knot, okay? Take this loop, your leader goes through the loop. Let it cinch it down easiest strongest knot there is okay you've got two pieces of line through your line tie there okay not just one two very very important tag end where my scissors go scissors tag end i'm pretty gracious on my tag end there's no reason to cut it really nice and short nothing like that i leave them pretty long that's at least an inch if not an inch and a half you can burn the end of this if you want I leave it long, I don't have to mess with my torch or dig that out, but I just leave a really long tag end, okay? So it gives it, it's never gonna pull through, right? Now, the beaver. Uh, this fish ripped up, ripped up the tail, okay? Um, this is what would be on the back, but you can buy these tails as replacements. I just happen to have another one sitting right over here with a perfectly good tail, okay? So I can just pull that off with the splitting pliers and then put this tail on that other bait. Cool thing about the beavers, okay, there's there's three different sizes and a couple different options. You have your Lake Edition. This one's actually brand new from Thorn. Um, Lake Edition beaver, okay. This is an XL beaver, and then there is a baby beaver. Okay, here's your three sizes. Baby beaver, XL beaver, Lake Edition beaver. Okay, what are the differences? All right, XL beaver, close just in case. This is how they come, okay? I do, you guys, if you guys watch the channel too, you know I, I change a lot of things in my baits, okay? But this is an XL beaver, okay? You got a front hook here, and then you've got a back hook. There's three joints or segments to this bait, okay? You have your head section, you have a middle section, and a back section, plus actually your tail, okay? So there's a lot of movement, okay, in this bait, which makes it really, really cool. Um, Brian ties all this stuff right in his shop by hand, epoxies it. These baits last incredibly long. I always say Brian made them too good because you can get 40, 50 fish out of a out of a bait. It's not like a rubber bait where it's gonna get all beat up, tore apart. So this is how they come stock, okay? Great bait, you can fish them over weeds like I am here. You can fish them over deep water like I was earlier in this trip. Um, there's so many options, they're incredibly versatile. You can put blades in front of them. The options are honestly endless. Uh, it's basically, you know, one of my friends calls it, you know, a, a, a hair swim bait is, is really what it is. So. This is how they come, right? Sharpen them up, throw them, they're great. Now, what these fish tend to do is they, for whatever reason, really like to hit these things in the head, okay? So if this was my bait, I'd put a split ring on here, that's how I would attach it. Now, since they like to hit it in the head, this actually acts as a hook hanger, okay? So I actually add a third hook 
onto the front of my bait, if you can see that there, okay? Just a split ring. Just make sure that this ring is below the ring that you connect to or when you attach your bait with your snap, that your hook is towards the belly of the bait when you attach it, all right? So this is how I run mine, okay? I add a, I add a front hook. That fish had this hook um, in the top of her mouth, okay, right, right in the top, and she had this one right in the corner. So this hook had her actually pinned better than this one. Being fishing by myself, fishing solo, things could have went really bad. I saw she was hooked really well, I just took my time with her. And that's where my mic died. Um, I'm just editing this right now, I just figured this out. But basically, what I'm talking about is adding that extra hook in the front of the XL Beaver, it really ups your hooking percentage. I caught a lot of fish on specifically just that hook. Um, you guys will see a lot more baits with, or uh, videos I should say, with beaver baits in them. Caught a lot of fish on them this year. They're, they're really, really special. Um, and the, the biggest thing with these baits, guys, like I said earlier, is versatility. Um, I think in a minute here, I talk about the screw and weights. I personally like the ounce and a half, um, but I know Brian has a whole kit of weights, uh, a bunch of different sizes. So if you need to go lighter or heavier, the ounce and a half is the heaviest one he makes. I really like that one. Um, but if you want to fish over shallow recover, he makes shallower weights for that application, okay? The Lake Edition, uh, which I talk about here in a second, is actually three ounces of lead in the head already. So that one is the heaviest one he makes. It gets down really, really fast. If you guys are fishing deep water, uh, really deep pumps, or really steep break line, it allows you to really work that bait super deep and get down. Uh, maybe you're fishing clear water late in the fall or what it may be. Regardless, the, the bait is very, very versatile in that aspect of it. Um, and then the baby beaver, which is the one I'm holding up right now, that one has been around for a while. That was the first one I actually ever purchased about five years ago. Um, and I've caught some fish on that in Lake of the Woods as well. So the one bait I don't have of Brian's is the mini. Um, and the mini is actually the smallest one he makes. I'm not exactly sure how long. I think it's like five to six inches. You guys will have to check out the website to see. Um, but there's just a bunch of great options. I don't think Brian gets enough recognition. He has an incredible bait company. Uh, one thing he does too is he does custom colors. I actually have some custom colors wrote up here for Brian that I sent to him for some stuff for some lakes that I personally want to fish, um, some stuff that he doesn't offer, and he'll do it for no extra charge, okay? Um, this stuff is actually absolutely amazing. And like I said in the video a few times, guys, if you guys order a Beaver's Baits um, between now and December 31st of 2020, you will receive a free liter from myself with the purchase of each Beaver Bait. Buy three Beaver's get three liters for free. So really great deal for you guys, but check out his website. I'll leave it in the description below and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.